They just showcase Shiva and Robocop in the combat cast. And I got to see these characters look insane. I can't wait to get my hands on these characters tomorrow. 11 a.m. Eastern time zone is when the Aftermath DLC is supposed to release. I'm going to be doing a live stream. As soon as it drops, we're going to be tackling probably the practice mode with Fujin first just to see how he is. And then we'll be hitting up the story mode DLC. So if you guys want to check that out, it's all going to be going down. Twitch.tv slash destroy FGC where we live stream daily. Be sure to check it out. Also, if you guys been enjoying the content recently make sure to hit up that thumbs up button make sure to hit up uh that subscribe button anyways enjoy this combat cast reaction hello and welcome to the final combat cast yo oh, look at the kurtz final combat cast right before the aftermath launch oh shit so excited to be here and show you the final two characters in aftermath let's run that down real quick who we got with me uh stephanie brombach senior qa analyst Derek kurtzik Believer that sprinkles should be on all food. Even hot dogs? Yeah, even hot dogs. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm Tyler Lansdowne, community manager at NetherRealm Studios, and we are here to talk about the final two characters of Mortal Kombat Aftermath. One thing that I'm very excited about that I just thought of today is that I have not played these characters or played the story because we what? recording. Hope everyone is staying safe. So this is the first time I've like I'm excited with the fans to try this stuff out the moment it drops. So I'm very excited. We are less than one day away. Let's do it. Very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, so hope everyone again, like I said, is staying safe. And today we're going to go through some characters of aftermath and a few other things. And then we're then the waiting begins, and we'll all be playing it together tomorrow. And we're all very excited about that. Uh, I guess let's just let's start out. We're going to talk about Shiva. Okay. Uh, so... I, for one, am wow. very excited about Shiva. We've talked about this. I love grappling characters, and I cannot wait to dive in. Stephanie, tell me about. Tell me more. Tell me. Well, Shiva debuted in MK3, uh, and yeah, she is a grapple character, rushdown character, power, big damage, big combos. And one of the neat things in this game is we introduced her using a shield. She carries it. It's on her yeah, back. Yeah, she's Wonder Woman now, right? She can switch hands, which uses it as spikes. So she uses it as like a bludgeoning weapon, also a sharp weapon. And she has a bunch of normal attacks and special moves that use it. It's pretty neat. Well, let's take a quick, let's just do a quick walkthrough of how, let's just have, have how Shiva navigates the playing field. Well, I think one oh, of the cooler yo, things they just is how out. she uses her forearms in normal attacks. Uh... She has a lot of multi-hit punching moves. That string is cool because it reminds me of her MK3 chain combo. Damn, that grab is brutal. Oh, it's not even over yet. Let's see, she has a lot, a lot of throws, yeah. Damn! Just brutal. Yo, she's stepping yeah, on, she on, really on. Hard. Oh, that's the punch she walk! Her fatal blow is the punch walk. Yo, yeah. let's go! Yeah, I'm about to have to pick up Shima! Yeah, yeah, I, I was really walk. glad to see that again. <laughs> Yo, they got the punch walk? Better than ever. Yeah, Soul Chain Rule. With the armor? Um, so her fatal blow is going to be ridiculous. Around the playing space and how she just overpowers her uh, adversaries. Let's take a look at some of her, uh, like her normal moves from right. her, her kit. So starting off, she has this back three, which is an overhead. That was it, an overhead? Uh, a oh my blow, god. To punish a low attack so you can see here she's gonna counter hit that down three and then oh lord break her nose just go right That's over pretty awesome away three too that was a fatality this what? is my favorite string i just think it looks awesome overhead so overhead very fast mid and overhead and then she can either end it quick or go through the full thing very easy to hit confirm this is her four to one which is like her best long range string um she doesn't get like a ton of easy hit confirm damage off of it, but the range is great. This is her knee, and it's her fastest mid. It does not have the range of 4-1, but it's really, really quick and safe. Damn. It's just like and the she has uh, a UMK3 combo, too. Yeah, which I love to see. I also love that uh, one of her grabs is a tribute to her UMK3, where she would throw and then do a standing high kick. Right. I love all the little the little Easter eggs from past games that show up in yes. uh, when characters return. It's pretty awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the default specials for Shiva. 
So to start off, she has her fireball. I okay. Think it's better than it's ever been. It's pretty fast. The amplified version is a mid, which is great for like fireball exchanges. This is her back forward four. It is a throw strike move. Great for ending combos. Throw strike move? She can. Uh, what is that? A command grab? I'm confused. Do a ton of damage by amplifying it, and it does stop you. Oh no! Nah! And an armor break. Yo, so that stomp look crazy! Time. Oh my god! The stomp is, stomp is back. You know, it's her trademark move. It's exactly what you want. It's unblockable. It's trolly. Oh no! It has a crushing blow if she does not miss it three times and amplifies it. it oh does not have no! To be three in a row. Uh, sorry, you had a question. No. Oh yeah, it doesn't have to be hit three times in a row it just can't miss so you can like do two in the first round and then have it loaded i'm scared whatever uh she can also hold block to stay in there a little bit longer to trick you if you try to back dash or four dash out of the way so it's maybe the most fun so thing you can about actually delay the drop which is awesome yes. yeah you'll actually see them look up and when she comes down late does it cost any there might be a very... to delay the drop no it does not what it's pretty nice no we meter to delay her to shit. Will, uh, do some things to the stomp too, so we'll get to that. Yes. Uh, let's take a look at variation one. So variation one is kind of stomped based. Uh, Thank you for the follows, guys. Anti -air grab. And anti-air grab. Are actually, oh my I lord. All of them are buffed across the board in this patch. I know for a fact Shao Kahn's and Terminators and hers are. Oh, um, anti-air grabs are this buffed. This one amplifies. They do really big damage. And it's great for if the opponent and a crushing blow right there. Throw my four launcher. The stomp. Move. So you can see here she gets a juicy combo. It also has a crushing blow if you do the regular and then amplify it. Is that so unblockable? Like you with the regular, the opponent tries to jump again. Then Yo, guys, thank she you so much. MK3 tremor move, which is like a shorter version of the stomp. It's unblockable. It's like a ground pound, basically. What? And then she can variation change the direction that she stomps if you hold forward or back she can go in front of the opponent or behind the opponent so it's like if you predict so that they're gonna try to sorry oh, i was just gonna say some shiva mind games right like you predict they're gonna try to forward dash out you can actually hold back and then go drop down to where they're going to be dashing just really obnoxious for the opponent I think we had talked also about how her tremor move, you can kind of use that for some trickery too and get your, your uh, anti-air grab out as well. Yes, when tremor and anti-air grab are equipped in the same loadout, she can actually do the anti-air grab as an amplifier. Oh so my what Lord. I mean is like you can do the tremor, amplify it to hold up, and she'll go into the anti-air grab. So if they try to jump over the second hit of the tremor, uh, you'll actually grab them out of the air and then get a combo, which is super fun. So, so it's like... More mind games. Yeah, so it's almost like two abilities are, I mean, it is, two abilities are linked together and have this added benefit if you use them together. Right and on. it skins kind of like a classic throwback, too. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like the hair. She has, the, the yeah. default mohawk is super cool. And then she has a bunch of different helmets and then a couple of different hair options. Right on. Let's uh, take a look at variation two. So this one is shield based. Oh man, she they gave her a helmet. She looks cool helmet. here. She gets a shield charge. It's great for closing space and it leads to combos. She also gets this shield spin. When you amplify that, wow. she knocks them away and this is a crushing blow. And for just doing it three times. The third time you do it, you're going to get really big damage. From She's getting a lot of crushing blows with her shield. And then she gets the shield toss. And this replaces her standard fireball. So this, you can hold it, and it will absorb projectiles. That's hilarious. Like blast through them into a crushing blow and do additional damage. So, like, if she holds it, releases it, sub zero does ice ball, it'll go past his ice ball. What about EX up, ice ball? It's off screen, mm. and then she gets a crushing blow. What about EX ice ball? Awesome. That's great. Uh, so a wep more of a weapons-based version of Shiva for that one. That's exactly. nuts. Exactly. So she gets counter zoning, better mid-range, and then... Probably the best combos, or some of the best combos she can have. And... Uh, let's take a look at the final variation, which I am super excited about. Yeah, this one is super fun to me. It's 50 50 mix up based. 50 uh, 50. She gets this death march. Whoa! Which is like a stamp. She can start charging forward, and you can cancel it. 
Dude, that or is scary. Shiba coming at you like that? It's a high, but it's a plus on block. Oh my god. And it has a crushing blow if you let her run across the whole screen. <laughs> and then she also has other options from it. She can do the back three, which I showed earlier, like just the overhead. She Yo, can imagine Shiba running man versus versus so this? Like Both starter, the running man versus tool, Shiva? Cancel tool, all of Yo. That. Then she gets the slow grab. And this leads to an Damn. amplifier, which sets up dot damage. And the dot is if they backdash or try to jump out, so it like limits their mobility, or they're going to take a bunch of damage. And then she also gets a crutch grab. And that leads to a combo starter as well. She can actually do that twice in the same combo. Oh crutch my grab. god, Ooh, that was savage! Oh man. So see, you can see she has a crotch grab and a low grab. No! Except, like, sell themselves. She can do like any of her overhead strings, do the low instead. She can mix up the back three overhead and the low grab. She could just run up and just do them raw. Like, this is the version for sure if you just want to do high low mix ups all day. Yeah, which is are you seeing one. this mix? And just grab, 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 two player animations all over the place. Like, just exactly what I'm what I'm looking for. I'm very excited to play Shiva for sure. Right, like a um, simple that example. Tyler all over it. Would yep, be her it back does. two is mid overhead and you can do back two and then cancel in below. And that's gonna keep them guessing. So the options are unsafe, but it's like high risk, high reward play style. Like it's a total YOLO, like just go ham, mix them up. You're gonna do a lot of damage, you're gonna take a lot of damage if you're wrong, but Shokan don't care. Right. And just like Fujin, there, uh, a lot of different types of players will want to play uh, her for the different variety of, of variations she does have. Because they all play very differently. Yeah, they're all like kind of like high risk, like mix up, but it's different styles. Like it's like grabs, 50 50s, and then the stomp mix ups. And then kind of more. Yeah, that, that run was pretty funny, right? Of the shield she was running slow motion, but it looked cool. It matched the Shiva. I don't know why Terminator's running like he's on fucking speed. Terminator's running way too fast for his running man sense. It should have been like Shiva speed, right? Because Terminator's a fucking giant ton robot. Not. Oh, look at this stage, dude. Bro, this. All right, we saw the fatal blow already, but yo, can we talk about the retrocade? The retrocade literally has every retro stage, right? This is gonna be the best stage in the game. So I think cool. she turned I, out the retrocade. Oh my. Yeah, I was I was excited when I heard that she was gonna be in the game, and now that I've seen how she plays, I'm just like I'm just like everybody who's watching the stream right now. I just want to play the game. Man, uh, Tyler, yeah, you want to go to sleep? Get the oh, fuck <laughs> out of here. By the way, my favorite thing about Retro Crate. Okay, so the projector is cool, but the classic arcade games in the background is like Rampage World Tour and Primal Rage are back there. Like, come on, that's amazing. <laughs> I like the uh, hanging Let's take a look at the uh, cardboard okay. cutouts. I think that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. those are incredible. Absolutely. Fatality? Let's take a look at the fatality. I think this is maybe my favorite in Aftermath. Yeah, this is brutal, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god! Look at his eyes! He fucking opened his eyes the wide! So Scorpion said, ah! <laughs> Scorpion said, what the fuck are you doing to me? I want to give big ups Whoa. to the social team who put that on. You probably all saw the uh, the meme they did with the reporter and that uh, that fatality last week. That was just perfection. Like, so good. Yeah. Um. So that so that right there is Shiva. Shiva, and we'll be playing her tomorrow. Grabs, mix-ups, just a ton of damage. Maybe a little yeah. yellow, and that if that's what you like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think she'll be a pretty cool addition to the meta because she's so she kind of reminds me of like the Terminator, where it's just going. Yeah, crazy. that fatality is on the level of Gears. Is the skinning alive Gears? That is very that fatality is up there with the the nastiest ones. A lot of fun, like. Once I started seeing her animation and started really playing her, I'm like, oh my god, like, she's just an absolute brawler. It's super fun. And she also has um, a lot of cool moves, too, that we're not showcasing as well. Tyler said, all right, yo, yeah, listen, she, before, before, before like, D-Curds get started on the fucking augments, that, that let's go to Robocop. Before this motherfucker gets started with the augments again. You know D-Curds is dying to talk about augments. He probably got a whole uh, fucking paragraph again, you can about augments right now. Any of the versions you want to, to set up your game how you want it, and you'll get the Eternal Clash skin pack, 
Which I pre-ordered my shit. I pre-ordered it. Some of the trailers with the Scorpion, the Frost, and the Sub-Zero skins. Super fantastic. Um, real quick, before we move on to RoboCop, which I'm also excited about. Oh, no. We're going to talk. Uh, we do. There is a, a, a balance patch coming with this uh, Ooh, for the game. And uh, Stephanie was just going to go through a couple things you might see in that, and we'll let oh my God. come out for you all. To Stephanie, read tell us! Well. Stephanie, tell us! Uh, Stephanie, you want to go through a couple characters right now? Yes! Yeah, so I chose three to go over, and this is not the conclusion. So there are a lot of balance path, uh, balance changes. Thank you for the sub. They are somewhat small. It's We took a lot of look at, like, frames, a lot of damage changes, but we did not want to change, like everything about the game like it's not okay, a, like a okay. massive reworking we're pretty right. happy with the meta imbalance of the game right now but we did want to look at some of the minutia thank so you for I the subscription some, some pretty cool buffs first is raiden raiden um so his back one too is like his main footsie tool that's the main min rage move you want to do and it's now a little bit safer and the cool thing is the throw at the end, back one, two, one plus three, is now an actual throw. So if the opponent tries to, like, jab him out of it, he'll actually interrupt and grab them and get a little bit of damage. Okay! So they could, if they read that, they can punish it. But if they're reading that and trying to duck it, then they're not doing the full punish that they normally would. So it makes his neutral game a little bit safer and a little bit more of a guessing game to use, which is cool. Uh, we also looked at the uh, crushing blow requirement for his electric fly, the torpedo. It is the same, but the requirement has been pushed a little bit closer. So he doesn't, it's to do uh, the Superman from like full screen, it's now a little bit closer. So it's a little bit better for punishing. Okay. And then uh, another thing we looked at is his storm cell, which is like his main pop up. You yeah. can now not break away. I knew it. So I, I, before, I mentioned that. I remember I said, why don't they make this like Katana's bullshit? Like eternity. That's like, exactly what I suggested as a buffer, that idiot. And look at that. And still get punished. So now they're going to have to only break away at the very end, being a little bit harder. To look, and I mean, there's like five other changes, but those are kind of. Okay, fun. okay. Five other changes. We'll also talk about Scarlet um, with her. Man, her Scarlet was already really good. Used to be high, high. They better watch out with her. Hit. Hi, man. So that is this really good advancing strength. Oh, like oh. block, but it was super punishable because it was too high. So now the last hit is a mid. So if the opponent is sitting there ducking and the second hit would have previously whiffed, it's now going to be blocked and she'll be left at advantage. Ooh. Another thing with Scarlet is her blood port is a little bit faster. That's her teleport. Hey! It's like what they do is make your teleports so faster in this fucking it's not like game. Instantaneous, but it should be a little bit better for mobility. I didn't like the, 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 the sound I'm of that one. About this one I love the move. Her back two now has significantly more advantage on hit. I think it's like 10. So that means when the move connects, she has a lot more time to like, she can go for another one because that's the crush. Oh blow. my God. Yo, this bitch or is going to be the new Cetrion. Mark my words. Scarlet is going to be the new Cetrion. Mark my fucking words. And then like Rachel, she has a couple others. Like her back one, two. Had some frame data changes and stuff like that. And then lastly, a lot of people have wondered about Shao Kahn. So last week I mentioned that his 434 is now special cancelable. Ooh. And that also has a change like Raiden where the throw is now a true throw. So oh my god. That's going to be but a scary strike throw game. Back three. And it's changed back across three? the board. It's back faster, three? It does oh. more damage and it has no. an all new hit reaction. It now just sets up combos easily. Like you can... I don't play Shao Kahn, and I can just easily enter him and do a, a I'm nervous, counter. bro. He can just walk up and do his back one or whatever. Oh, so my it's God. still an unsafe mid, but it's a little bit faster, and it's much better for doing combos. And then lastly, most characters only have one armor-breaking move. He actually has three. So he oh! already talked about his downward shoulder charge, but both of his anti-air moves, his anti-air grab, and his anti-air spear also break armor. Oh, so he's like the armor shit! master, which makes sense since he's like a... The boss character. Of, right. Oh, he's now. the boss character now! So he has a lot of options if you're trying to <laughs> break away from him, which is pretty cool. Oh my god! Uh, great. Uh, we'll have the patch notes out soon. There's no ETA on that, uh, but you know, keep following us on Twitter, and when they show up, you'll see them.
So there we go. That's just a couple things. His shoulder so, charge is going to break armor. Really his air grabs That's break armor. Right now. His fucking um, mids are now hit confirmable into, into specials. Robocop. Wow, it's going to be... Shao Kahn's going to be a problem. Stuff. I might have to dabble Robocop with the Shao Kahn with daddy pretty, big nipples. I'd call him like a variety character. Like his, his normal attack base is pretty basic. Are we talking about Robocop? Does big boots and punches you in the face. I mean, it's Robocop. Like, he's not doing, like, karate. That would be super weird. Listen, the um, shit y'all had Terminator moves, doing got a little weird. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if Robocop Sonar, starts doing backflips and he shit. He actually has a command throw. He can be a trap character. Because Running Man stands on Terminator? Stuff, so it's kind <laughs> of like thought, Nobody thought he was going to be doing that. It's just a powerhouse. Like, he just... He does jabs and uppercuts and stuff. But then a special move is... Where you as the player can shape the play style that you want, which is kind of cool. He brings a full armory to the table too. Like you're gonna see yeah. that here in a, in a few minutes. Yeah, well, he's walk, got like a little bit of everything. How he walks across the map. Okay, this stage is awesome. So this string is four two, and it's kind of like his baseline like go to. Damn, string. I like he's the sound effects, flow. dude. It's good for punishing. Very mechanical. One neat thing is he's sweet there. Yeah, he uses his guns and his data spike a lot. God damn, what a cool. throw. Both of his oh throws my god! Blows. He had a bottom in the head with that shield? Which is always really strong in his game. Spikes coming out of his feet, that's, in that's incredible. Do you think their data spikes as well? Like, can he upload stuff with his feet? Uh, oh, yeah. Pr yeah. Probably? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's... Yeah. I think that's canon, sure. Um, let's take a look at uh, his, nor his normals. Okay, so. Yeah, his 4-2 is awesome as a stagger strain. Like, you can do throws after it. All right. You can loop it. I'll do the crushing blow here. This is just for doing a counter hit or a punish. Oh my god, into a launcher? No launcher. This god is Robocop in his back, too. He just bops you, and it's like his combo starter. That's a this scary is one. Is that overhead? So this is interesting. His back one is like his fastest hit. And the bombs are part of the normal. You can be close, medium, or far. So it's like a special move, basically. Wow. His back three is a low. He's, is really he's walking pretty he fast, really no? Have, like, a great overhead to is it me or is he walking pretty damn fast? It's pretty good. And this is like his main pop-up, board four. Really good range. Decently fast, but... The last hit's a high, so you can just duck and punish it. So you can't just do it willy-nilly, but if you, like, whiff in front of him, you're going to get hit by that. And, uh, bigly damage. Bigly damage. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some specials from the default. So this is his default loadout. He, of course, has the Okay, the pistol. It is a great projectile. It's super fast. You can amplify it for really good damage. <laughs> and the Cobra Cannon is awesome. Yo, so this man got just guns. That shit falls from the sky. Fire, I'm about to show. You go. Well, he got a fucking back. support helicopter so right above him. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Mid. And while meter it's a burn, high, yo, the other two hits are mid. These so projectiles are pretty stupid because you can't down. even see them. He can push you way back and just start that zoning over again. Look at this. Then he's got this shoulder cannon. Oh, this is toxic, is bro. Pretty similar to bombs in the past. Game. Bro, what are they They're doing with this, control. man? I don't understand who, 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 who's coming up with these play then styles he has right an here. Gun, which is really and anti air fast. gun as well? It covers a ton of space. Bro, come on. Pretty fast. Bro, seriously? And he has this neat He's going to throw a bomb. Cool he's going to shoot the fastest projectiles at you. This man's going to pull out the fucking 50 cal sniper rifle. This motherfucker's going to shoot you in the air with the pistols. This man's going to throw bombs all over the place. What the fuck is this, bro? Robocop? Hey, he got a parry? And this has a crushing blow. What? So you finally get through all this zoning, all these bombs? And, and then he parries you and throws you back full screen? It's, it's simple, but it's so satisfying. <laughs> oh my god! So the shield is kind of cool because he's got this really good zone here. And it's very hard to advance because of the Cobra Cannon pushback. Oh and my. If you try to counter the Cobra Cannon pushback! The Cobra Cannon pushback! 
so it's pretty cool. The Cobra Cannon pushback. The, uh, when the, the Kano had where when when you did the the. the, the They're talking the about the, the Cobra switch. Cannon pushback. Oh, yeah. yeah, Cobra Cannon, that's directable, right, Stephanie? Exactly. Yes. You could put that in front also, of where they're going to be behind them. Yeah. And if you amplify it, it gives it different properties to how the shoulder cannon will actually work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, regular base. What is going on? Damage, they keep on like variations have. Different oh my god, this game probably going to see pretty soon. Is a lot of fucking Ooh, these characters are, are are gonna come through with a lot of goddamn well, this is zoning. One. Oh, oh he looks one. cool. So this has a command grab. Motherfucker, look like a it's goddamn Buzz Lightyear, fire. gonna just zone you and all the day. The fun thing is, if he amplifies it, you can turn you around. I want to see his back walk speed. I bet his back walk speed is as really fast as his front. What is this? Super fun to do you're What's happening here? This man's gonna carry you, take you to the corner of the screen, <laughs> and it's zoning you more. <laughs> Come on! For Look at that! He said, "Get to the end roll. of the screen. I'm going to zone you now." So, like, the idea would be if you throw them into the corner, you think they're gonna try to roll out of the corner, roll past you. Pause, do that. Oh, nah, he got gun damage. cancels too, my man. Then he has this advancing or retreating auto nine. <laughs> and he'll slowly walk forward <laughs> back, and you decide at what point you want to let it go, or you can cancel it. You also look really intimidating, which I think is. <laughs> the animation team fun. nailed his walk too. It's so good, right? <laughs> oh, man. And then lastly, he gets these amplified Whoa, bombs. Whoa! He gets a combo! Earlier, Whoa! Now they shock you, and he gets a combo start. Oh no! So this variation has a command grab and significantly better uh, oh, my space Lord. control with his bombs. Like, the reward is better. Awesome. Love the <laughs> command grab there, and being able to turn around and just walk with them. D Kurtz very, and, very and, and, and Tyler are like, uh, yeah. very what is obnoxious. this? Let's take a look at variation two. So this one is probably the best zoning one. His auto this man don't even look like a fucking gun. Robocop no he more. He looks like a, like a human. Low down he, goes low. he gets skinnier but with these armor changes, right? Super fast, and it has a crushing blow for going under a projectile. Oh my god, Ooh. he shot his dick off. I hate to see that happen all the time. He also gains this uh, flamethrower, which is awesome for pressure. Because this is you know, crazy. Not down, and then he gets a lot of advantage. He can go up, do his forward two pressure, do a throw, whatever. If the opponent hits a button, they're taking a huge risk. God damn! He, he got missile rocket, launchers. To me, is the star. Oh player. my lord, dude! It is awesome. It is super fast. It has a long trail. It's really good if the opponent's jumping around like a maniac. It will anti-air like crazy. It is it is a high, but it's very difficult to react to. It's like one of those projectiles where the opponent's going to use a lot of mental energy just kind of looking for it to duck. All right. So basically, I, I, love, I love the skin there, too. So with like that variation, you basically would kind of want to zone for a while, and if they start to get close, you use the, fame, the flamethrower to push them right back, right? Exactly. So Fucking it's like scumbags. Up close to the flame you heard that? And then you I think heard that shit that he has for sure, and counter zoning. That was fucked up right there. I didn't like the sound of that. Yeah, that's a that's a wild crushing blow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'll say. Uh, let's go into uh, variation three. So this one is like wow. Trap based kind Ed Boon two oh nine. This shoulder charge. This is his armor breaking move. And it has a crushing blow on it by itself for a uh, counter. <laughs> you trying to play your game? This motherfucker's over here flying all over the screen, crushing blow. Yeah, I crushing think I'm blowing everything. Right <laughs> he said, "Oh, you wanted to go so over there, nah, bro? An There's a crushing blow." Oh yeah, that's a lot. What this is, is this? Of an armor breaker that's only in one specific variation, which is there's like seven. 10 characters yeah, this that game have is, an armor breaker like this that. game is so crazy bro if you want that armor breaking. this game is this is like you know, the most unforgiving up, fighting like, game I've ever seen or the right? have <laughs> too, but you'll have the access to that so it's always the the balancing act of what do you prioritize <laughs> motherfucker said half your life uh, for flying the flying shield to the face so this changes his bombs instead of the regular bombs, oh my god police strip 
Oh, and that will the dot damage! Black acid. Um, and if he amplifies it, it becomes what? tear gas. <laughs> so this normally does dot, but then also, if the opponent sits in it too long, they'll get stunned. And no! And he can have both out at the same time. Oh! Which, oh! Really, you can see his life bar really out. Oh, oh lord! It's melting him. What was that? But then he also gets this uh, electrify move, and what this does is if the opponent attacks him, they will take damage. Hey! So this makes him, like, the king of closing out games. Like, he can poop out a bunch of the caltrops, <laughs> turn on the electric thing, and then the opponent, if they're just standing there, they're gonna die. If they attack him, they're gonna die. So they're just gonna die. So if they have, like, you know, 5% left, he's just, you're going to die. Nasty in the corner, too, probably, as well. Exactly. Right on. Let's take a look at the yeah. Fatal Blow. Oh, go ahead. I'll say after this. Cool. Yeah, his Fatal Blow is pretty dope. He annihilates you. I love Ed 2 and 9. I, the <laughs> roar always gets me. That's that skin so is sick, awesome. though. Yeah. I gotta say, man. Why does he roar? Because he can. So you were gonna say you were gonna say something before the fatal blow there? Just overall, you can see what I mean. Where his normal attacks are just what are my three ranged moves? Like what you know? It's there's not a lot of complex stuff here. But then his variations, the special moves, are where it's like, oh, I feel like being a grappler or a zoner or a trap based character or whatever. Which is Right. A pretty neat uh, design thing, I think. Absolutely. Uh, and let's uh, look at a fatality. Oh, shit. I hope they do the one where he shoots off your arm. Oh, there's a trick shot. This one is cool, but I feel like they could have done something. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to sound like that guy, but I'm going to be that guy, man. That one was kind of weak. I see there's another one, though, where he stabs you in the jugular and shoots off your hand. I want to see how he finishes that one. That, that one though, I'm not, not a big fan. It's badass. Like, I mean, he shoots your dick off. In the head. Uh, yeah. So that is that is Robocop, and and you know just like the characters, other characters we've shown for Aftermath, a lot of different styles that any type of player can find their home somewhere in Robocop, Fujin, or Shiva. I would say. Would you agree with that? Definitely. And like a lot of the guest characters, it's intentionally they're pretty easy to pick up and play. Like. You can have some complex, like, mix-up options with a special move if you want. But, like, his normal attacks. Like, if, if you are a pre you're the type of player that you play through story mode and you just want to arrest bad guys with Robocop, like, he has a very simple, easy-to-use move set. If you just want to, you know, do 4, 2, 1 in throws and get some wins, you're Oh, so go. he's easy like every other fucking character in the game. That's good uh, to know. Derek... Hey. I believe we have you have some stuff to talk about, but also you're going to start with uh, birthday shout outs. Birthday shout outs, you say? Yeah, I think Man. they're done. I think once they do the birthday shout outs, it's over. Absolutely birthday shout outs. Here we go. The most electrifying man. They got to let um, us know if it's Wayne over. Johnson? No, no. Uh, so, uh, a different one. A different all right. One. Okay. Uh, Luke.